Pope. She continues working from home, and I think, I hope, Lainey, that you got a chance to get outside today and enjoy some of the weather around your home because it was really nice. Oh, I absolutely did. So, Brianna, I'm planting some flowers out on the back deck, but I'm also making sure that they're in containers so I can bring them in because we have got some cold air in the forecast again. Now, you know, we usually can see a frost and a freeze at least until mid-April in the triad for those of you that are planning on planting. Take a look out there today. We had a gorgeous day. Of course, we had the storms yesterday. It was nice to have some sunshine out there today. Still a little bit brisk. Temperatures were close to normal, but that breeze when it picked up a little bit of a chill and we've got that again tomorrow so if you are going to go outdoors maybe walk the dog ride the bike with the kids you've got temperatures a little bit cooler tomorrow as highs will only be in the mid 50s we also are looking at a northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles an hour so that'll make it feel pretty cold out there we've got that north wind already setting up across the area and it's bringing in some cooler air so you can see the temperatures right now already some 30s 40s and yes, some 50s across the area. It's going to get cold enough in the mountain communities that there may even be a few snowflakes in our forecast tonight. I don't anticipate much on the ground. Maybe above about 3,500 feet, there could be a light coating. Temperatures out there today, very close to normal in the upper 60s. Morning lows were in the 40s. But as I just mentioned, we are looking at colder nights ahead. We've got 40 degrees tomorrow morning, and we've got 35 for Thursday morning. So that's when I'm concerned about a little bit of frost across the area. Take a look at the radar where we do have some light rain. Maybe you noticed some of that rain pelting down on the home earlier tonight. A little shower there moving out of Rockingham County. We're left with a few sprinkles. We also have some rain up over Carroll County and then you can see the snow. Right now it's staying just to the north and for the most part that is where it is going to stay. But there will be at least a little bit I think of flakes here and there and some of the higher elevations. Maybe kind of a wintry mix but it'll be very spotty. Everything is developing along a stationary front. There's an area of low pressure that's actually going to move along that front right along the coast and that's the reason we're going to have the stronger winds that are in the forecast. We've got that chance in for maybe a little bit of a wintry mix for early tomorrow morning, kind of lingering in the mountains, perhaps a lingering rain shower across the triad, but again I do think the bulk of the precipitation, and it's not even that much, is going to take place overnight and then by tomorrow we look for that to start to move off to the east. East. We may have some clouds at least through lunchtime, but then a good bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Measurable snow, mainly up over Virginia and West Virginia. Measurable rain, not a lot of that either. It'll be very light and spotty across the area. We hang on to that rain chance and some clouds in the morning. We have a high temperature that's going to be in the 50s with some sunshine, and we also have that north wind, so keep that in mind. When you step outside, you're going to be like, ooh, I might need a jacket, <laughs> at least early in the day. Now, the mountain forecast also has us a bit chilly with numbers mainly in the 40s through the day. Moving forward through this week, we do have another front that's coming our way. That'll be moving in Thursday into Friday. We'll get that cold air kind of reinforced and then we've got another weather system coming in Friday night into Saturday. So that's going to bring us some rain. It's also going to keep the temperatures kind of in check, closer to normal where they should be. And we should dry out during the day Saturday and right now it looks like we'll have some dry skies for Sunday as well. So here's your seven day forecast. The coldest morning looks like it's going to be on Thursday morning. We do have breezes off and on because we do have these fronts that are kind of steadily coming through here. What that means is we don't have extreme high temperatures, Brianna. We're going to keep them pretty level and pretty close to normal for April this week.